All right, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Happy 4th of July. It's Mopar Monday and it's the 4th of July. What a great combination of days. <laughs> so we have got a lot of cars to go over today. Um, upwards of 10 cars, maybe. So we've got six to unbox and I've got a handful of cars that I just want to, uh, to show you um, that I have rescued from my parents' house. The uh, the boxes in my old bedroom filled with toy cars. I I get the chance every time I go over there, I'll uh, root through the boxes and grab anything that I think is worth putting on the show. So first things first, um, this week, Mopar Monday, I know last week we did all Dodge Challengers. So this week we're gonna do all Dodge Chargers. Um, except for this one, I do have one challenger that I wanted to put in last week's video, but I actually decided to do for this week's video simply because I know we've seen this blue Hellcat from Auto World twice before, but those two times we saw it in red and white. So naturally, being the 4th of July, I absolutely had to get the blue one, so... And of course, as always, there are different uh, premium facts listed here. So they are different facts than the previous challengers that we've looked at. But yeah, I just, I had to have the red, white, and blue Hellcats. What a great combination. <laughs> so I think first off, we'll, uh, let's get the Hellcat open. Let's uh, bring our lift over. We'll get the Hellcat open. We'll take a look at it, even though it is a challenger and we're doing a charger video. I, I guess we'll get this one out of the way first. All right, so here is our 2019 Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat. Now, I know we've talked about these plenty of times before, and this does have an opening hood on it, but I'm having some trouble getting my fingernail under there, and I don't really want to push my luck. Fortunately, the white one does seem a bit more in the mood to show off his engine. So we'll take a look under here at the white one, because it should be the same thing under the hood of the blue one. So we're gonna get it right this time. <laughs> that is a 6.2 liter, 6.2 liter supercharged V8. I have, uh, the last two times I've talked about Hellcats, I think I said that they had a 6.1 and a 6.4 and both of those times I was wrong. It is a 6.2 liter. So I'm gonna clear that up. Very cool looking car. I absolutely love this deep dark blue. It looks really great. Nice Mopar blue with your little black spoiler there, black details. Um, and I'm pretty sure I mention this every time we have a Hellcat on the channel. It's like my favorite thing about this car. The inner headlights are part of the intake system for this bad boy. So you have little cold air intakes in your inner headlights there. Um, all black interior, not much to see in there though we will pray that this is a six-speed manual. The Hellcats are offered in both automatics and manuals. I know I would prefer to have a manual, but those automatics sure do shift quick. Uh, coming around to the back here, we've got our license plate. Very creative. It says Hellcat in case we didn't know what it was. <laughs> there is our little SRT badge right there on the right-hand side of the spoiler. Bring that in for a bit of a closer look real quick. So you can just about, oh, there goes the camera. Oh, I hate when that happens. Sometimes when I bring this stuff in too close and try to tap to focus, it'll just end the recording. But right there above the tail light, you can see we do have the SRT badge with the little Hellcat face. Um, kind of hard to make out just because it's so small. But again, there on the fender is the little Hellcat. It's like a, the head of a cat with some teeth sticking out. Looks really cool. Um, really, really cool car. I'm super excited to be finally having a red, white, and blue Challengers. Let's get them lined up. There you go. So real quick, we'll take a look at the card for the blue Challenger. Got a very cool picture of it there. Uh, it says, our premium facts, the top speed of the Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat is 199 miles an hour. That is electronically governed. They can go faster if you tinker with them. 
Uh, it's powered by a 6.2 liter, there you go, 6.2 liter supercharged V8 engine making 707 horsepower at the crankshaft, not at the tires. 707 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque. So, yeah, 707 horsepower at the crankshaft. I have seen dyno videos of Hellcats. They usually put out about 660, 670, sometimes upwards of 680 to the wheels, which is still by no means a, a laughing matter. Um, and again, we do have another Hellcat charger back there. Uh, real quick, taking a look at the back of the card. We, um, this 2017 Jeep Wrangler Sahara Unlimited. We will be seeing that coming up. That's a cool one. Wait, do you see the color of that thing? Uh, 66 Suburban, I think this is the older one. I think this one was red. I have the gray and blue ones from the, from a later series. Uh, 83 Silverado 2019 F-150. Yeah, some cool stuff in this series, but again, like I said, I'm just super thrilled to have a red, white, and blue examples of these Hellcats. It does look like the blue one has a slightly different hood on it. They very well might be different years. I wonder if they're different years. I think the white and red ones are uh, 2020s. And the blue one might be a 2019. Interesting. But either way, we will get them parked up in the parking garage. And we'll put them all together so they look great as a little team. And we will start moving into our chargers for this video. So... First on the list for today's video, I know we just did that Challenger, but I'm going to go through the rest of these guys one at a time here. Uh, we've got a 69 Dodge Charger RT. Looks like another General Lee clone, um, again, because the licensing was pulled for the General Lee. We now have things like this, where it's it's got all the right parts to be the General Lee, the correct wheels, the push bar, tan interior, roll cage. They even went as far as putting a number on the side, number 7 instead of number one. Uh, so it's just supposed to be a, uh, a General Lee clone. Um, and then this is a Nitro XGT exclusive. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but it was at the toy store, so <laughs> I bought it. We've got a 71 Charger Super B. So this is a little bit later in the Charger's design definitely a, uh, a newer body style as opposed to the late 60s, 68 and 69, as well as uh, 70. 71, they certainly changed them up a little bit. We have a late model charger here, so this is a 2018, another Hellcat. This is, uh, again, 707 horsepower, 6.2 liter supercharged V8, yada, yada, yada. But they put it in a Dodge Charger that time instead of a Challenger. Down here, this is probably one of my favorites for this video. This is the Hawaiian 1970s. It doesn't really give you a specific year. Uh, Dodge Charger Funny Car. This is super, super cool. I'm really excited about this one. Very cool. And lastly... We have the charger that wasn't a charger at all. The Ram Charger. So we've got a 1977 Dodge Ram Charger. This is uh, basically Dodge's response to the Bronco, the Jeep, the Blazer, and blah, blah, blah. So you had um, the Plymouth Trail Duster as well was uh, Plymouth's version of this. So without any further ado, we will get into our first charger for this video, and I think number one is going to be the 69 General Lee innuendo. <laughs> so let's get it out of the box and take a closer look. All right, so here is our 69 charger, uh, wannabe General Lee. We did see a very similar car to this in a previous Mopar Monday. I think it was two Mopar Mondays ago, which is right here. Now this one does not have the number listed on the side. The wheels are a slightly brighter color, slightly more silver, 
and the orange is a little bit more yellowish or on the yellow end of the orange spectrum where this would be more on the red end of the orange spectrum I guess you'd call it but either way both being you know hinting at generally um, very cool cars. I do like the big number seven on the side. We do have the hood open as always exposing our big bed 426 Hemi Painted in Hemi orange as well as the rest of the car being Hemi orange. We'll get our hood closed here um, As always you can see it does have the push bar on the front and there's our split grill unique to the 69 model year but uh, if you remember the show the General Lee did have a little push bar right there like a police car uh, coming around to the side, big ugly gas cap, charger emblem on the roof where it should be. And if we take a look inside, once again, we can just about make out the black roll cage and tan interior that would be found in the General Lee, as well as the American Racing Vector SE wheels. So this one, although it does have a number seven on the side, this one is begging for a big flag on the roof. Maybe I'll put an Irish flag on it because I'm Irish. <laughs> and then, okay, on the back here, we do have a license plate that says Nitro XGT. That is the, I guess, for the Nitro XGT exclusive there. Dual exhaust looks really cool. And our RT badge right in the middle of the two taillights there. You can just about make that out. Very sharp looking car, as always the classic 69 Charger. Everybody loves them, everybody wants one, and it's the right color for one too. So we'll take a quick look at our card if I can manage to not drop it on the floor. Ugh. There we go. We'll scoot these guys over. So we got some kind, of, some kind of background going on there. So we do have a single fact for this guy, and it's a very familiar sounding fact. Uh, it says the 1969 Dodge Charger was, was a design high point for muscle cars of the day with its attractive curvy styling and roomy functional interior. That sounds a lot like one of the facts that came with the, uh, the other General Lee Charger. And then there's our paint code Hemi Orange. And on the back here we just have a uh, number 7 Nitro XGT exclusive. Uh, OK Toys, distributed by OK Toys, Inc. Visit us online at OKToys.com. There's round two, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, no facts, no, uh, no story of anything, but very cool looking car. I like it a lot. We'll take a quick look underneath, because I know with uh, the Johnny Lightnings, we do like to take a look. Um, it does have a big Johnny Lightning emblem right there that's pretty cool looking uh, 2009 playing mantis so this is a oh, you're not focused on that are you there you go so this is a playing mantis casting that was uh, revived by round two when they brought Johnny lightning back from the grave in 2013 so very cool to see them uh, reusing old castings I know we've seen some stuff like that before even as far as reusing plastic tires on them. But yeah, very good looking car. Always happy to be adding another 69 Charger to the collection. So we will get him parked up in the parking garage and we will move on to our 71 Dodge Charger Super B. Okay, so here's our 71 Dodge Charger Super B, not to be confused with just a regular old Super B. This is a Super B package for the Dodge Charger. So under the hood there, we do have a 383. Um, again, it looks like the six pack air cleaner, but I guess that's, uh, they use that air cleaner on multiple different engines. Very nice looking car. I like the, uh, we've got, get the hood closed there you've got your super b on the hood there right under the hood scoop if we can focus on that come on there we go there is the super b under the hood scoop very sharp looking front end very cool looking um very different styling this almost kind of looks more like a uh like a roadrunner or a duster or something but uh 
this is what the charger started to look like in the early 70s we do have the white roof nice stripe right down the side there that wraps all the way up and around in front of the windshield looks really good nice big chrome wheels on there too those look really nice we got Goodyear tires on there yeah, those chrome mags look great this is a very big car very large casting as you can see both ends are just about sticking over the edge of the lift so yeah certainly a big guy but as always with the 70s cars were getting big and fat in the 70s although being a 71 i'm sure this still had plenty of horsepower um interesting rear end you've got your triple tail lights on either side no license plate on here as always with green light um there's our little super b dodge charger emblem on the right hand side of the trunk there very sharp looking really like this red white and black color combo looks great so let's take a peek underneath as always with green light we hmm oh okay it's just really small it is printed there 1971 Dodge Charger Super B. So for a second I thought they didn't have the year making model listed on it. Very cool car. Very excited to be adding a late model or a later model charger to my collection. Um, they did Dodge did continue to make the charger all the way up through the 70s and I think into the early 80s, but we're not really going to be looking at any of that stuff today because if I'm honest, they're pretty ugly, and they're not really, like, exciting cars. <laughs> but anyway, we will get moving right along into our 2018 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. So let's get this puppy out of the box. I always do it. I always do it. I get ahead of myself, and I forget to show you guys the card. So this is the card for the 71 Charger. Part of the Vintage Ad Cars series number four. It says, the run of the mills is anything but run of the mill. And the print on there is absolutely microscopic. So, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> there is your Dodge Scat Pack ad down there. And we've got the rest of the cars that are in this series. We've got an 84 GMC Sierra, an 81 K5 Blazer. We just saw him recently. That is right here. This guy, our 81. Uh, we've got an 80 Ford Mustang, 79 Ford LTD Sedan, 77 F-150, and the 71 Charger Super B. I like that green. They should have done it in green, man. The green looks great. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, we'll get that tucked into the box, and we will bring our 2019 SRT Hellcat charger over onto the lift, and we'll get that big, long hair out of the way. Gross. <laughs> um, let's see if we can get the hood popped open real quick. Uh, I'm going to pause it. There we go. So there is our 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8 that creates 707 horsepower at the back of the crankshaft. Absolute monster of an engine. Very cool car. Unfortunately, the chargers, uh, late model chargers, are not offered in a manual transmission. So if you want to try to operate that 700 horsepower engine with a manual, you're going to need a Challenger. But either way, still a very sharp looking car. Uh, there is, once again, where's my pen? Our little Hellcat emblem right there on the fender. Looks very sharp. Um, oh, that's that's really interesting. I was just talking about this with somebody. Um, right here, you can see, is like that little antenna thing that's on the roof of, uh, of newer cars. Since newer cars don't have antennas anymore, they have that little shark fin or like a little lumpy thing on the roof. It looks like they've even detailed that in on here. It's uh, right there. It's my my dog's getting upset. Hold on. <laughs> All right, neighbors were walking their dog, so my dog had to let their dog know that he was here. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're uh, we're looking at our 2019 Dodge or 2018 SRT Hellcat here. Uh, we were going this way with it. Very sharp looking car. Again, 
we've got a license plate that says Hellcat. It seems like every single Hellcat I have has a license plate that says Hellcat. So there's the Challenger's Hellcat license plate. Um, all three Challengers actually, the red one and the white one also have the same uh, Florida license plate that says Hellcat. So if anybody, any manufacturer can come up with a license plate for a Hellcat that says something other than Hellcat, we'd love to see it. Get creative. <laughs> uh, we do have mirrors on this casting, so that's always interesting to see. A lot of detail on this car. Um, anatomically correct wheels. They are what you would find on a Hellcat Charger. Uh, very interesting. I do like the stripes on here quite a bit too. We'll take a quick peek underneath. Not a lot of detail underneath. It seems like all the detail went on the outside of the car. Um, ooh, easy. Uh, but we do have 2018 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat listed right there on the bottom. So we'll take a quick look at the card. This did come with a little Miho exclusive collector's box, which is kind of unusual from uh, Greenlight. Usually you see these from like Johnny Lightning in Auto World. Uh, this is a very limited 3300, and then there are 300 chase pieces, so those would be green machines since they're from Greenlight. Um, not a whole lot of information, and we did just talk quite a bit about the Hellcat engine, so if you need some info on that, rewind to the beginning of the video. But that is the Hellcat badge that I kept talking about on the fenders and trunk that we couldn't really get a good look at because it was so small. That is what it looks like. So very cool, very, very cool. We get this little box, I guess, into the drawer. The drawer still does exist, by the way. It's just uh, been slightly repurposed. So we will get this charger into the parking garage. And uh, which one should we do last? Part of me wants to get the Ram Charger open, but I have been itching to get this out of the box since it came. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Mr. Hawaiian here. Background's disappearing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this one has got to be in, this is probably gonna be in like my top five favorite cars. This thing is so freaking cool. Um, holy crap. <laughs> the level of detail. So we've got it opened up here just like you would have uh, any fiberglass body funny car. Opens up to expose inside the engine and in the back there you can see the little cage surrounding the driver's compartment and driver's seat. Little cage in there to keep him safe in case of a crash. Um, the body does of course lift all the way up. Man, this thing is cool. So we will get this. What you do is lift up on the body, fold that down, and then you can close it down on itself. It looks so cool. This is such a cool looking car. Um, this is probably, it, it doesn't really specify on the box what year charger this is. If I had to guess though, looking at the 71, I'd say this is maybe a 71, 72, 73. I, I don't, I can't really tell for sure. But lots of really cool detail on here. We've got our Roland, what does that say? Roland Longs, Hawaiian. Yeah. Um, Butch Mass is our driver, driver's name. If we can focus on the car in front of us camera. We've got uh, the name of our driver there. Lots of different little uh, sponsorships and speed shop names, things of that nature. You have tiny little skinnies up in the front, big fat drag slicks in the back with beadlock wheels, it looks like. Uh, oh, wow. The, uh, the tires. So these, I guess, are special edition Johnny Lightning 50th anniversary tires. They say 50th anniversary, 1969 to 2019. So this is part of the, uh, this is a special 50th anniversary Johnny Lightning. So we will be seeing some stuff like that. There's our triple tail lights like we saw on the 71. A little parachute back there for when he gets to the end of his run. 
Yeah, very sharp looking car. Absolutely awesome. I'm so excited to add this one to the collection. This is probably definitely going up in the top five favorites in my collection. This is such a cool car. Love the blue and white color combo with the little gold, hints of gold trim around it. Looks absolutely awesome. Um, if you're curious, we'll take a peek underneath pretty straightforward base I mean there's not really much to show under there there's not much of a car to show at least um, it does say 1995 playing mantis up at the front there so that is I guess when this casting was originally created was in 1995 and then of course like we said revived by round two in 2013 so we will take a quick look at the card. This is another 50th anniversary car. The last time we saw a 50th anniversary car was the 34 Ford Coupe and my white lightning uh, Shelby Daytona Coupe, but I'm not gonna pull that down. We've seen that plenty of times. Um, right, so 50th anniversary over here. Like I said, it's the Hawaiian 1970s Dodge Charger funny car. Uh, it says, and then we've got fun facts about Johnny Lightning instead. So, uh, soon after playing Mantis, revived the Johnny Lightning brand in 1994, Dragsters USA was introduced in 1995, replicating famous dragsters of the 60s and 70s. <sighs> They're from the 90s, but man, would I love to get my hands on some of those uh, Dragster USA cars. That is a really cool series. I've seen pictures of some of that stuff. Uh, this is the first time Johnny Lightning has ever produced the Hawaiian funny car in accurate 1971 graphics. Okay, so these graphics are from 1971. So this very well could be a 1971 Charger, or at least based off a 1971 Charger. And then our paint code is Hawaiian metallic blue. On the back here, we've got the 57 Bel Air convertible, 64 and a half Mustang, the 70 Dodge Charger funny car, George Barris's ice cream truck, uh, 69 GTO Judge, and a custom Camaro. And real quick, here's some history on Johnny Lightning, but I don't know if we're going to have time to go through all of that. So if you'd like, you can go ahead and pause the video right here and read through that entire paragraph or two of... Johnny Lightning history. So, very cool. Get that card tucked into the box. One more good look at our new funny car. Yeah, absolutely a sick car. I love the way the windshield wraps around the motor like that. That's so cool. I love that about funny cars. Um, yeah, down on the front there, you've got Hawaiian Charger. Very cool. Very excited to get this one into the parking garage. So lastly, we've got our 77 Dodge Ram Charger. Now I know it's not technically a Charger, but when, uh, so basically, here, let's get it out of the box before we start talking about it. So here's our 77 Dodge Ram Charger. Now, as always with these trucks, like Blazers, Broncos, Ram Chargers, they were competitors for the Jeep. And what was everything's favorite thing about the Jeep, or everyone's favorite thing about the Jeep? You can take the top off. So obviously, if you're gonna compete, you gotta make your top come off too. We've got the hood open on our Ram Charger here, looking at what is probably, if I had to guess, late 70s, it's probably a 360 Magnum or a 318 Magnum under the hood there. Um, not exactly a powerhouse, but a great engine. Great, great, great engine. They would run forever. Um, just not, you know, built too strong to hurt themselves. <laughs> Very cool looking truck, though. I absolutely am in love with this lime green. It's such a fun color for a super fun truck. So I think one of my favorite things about the Ram Charger and the Plymouth Trail Duster, which was its Plymouth counterpart, um, is the way that these trucks are named. So they basically took, so Plymouth obviously had the Duster, Dodge had the Charger, and they just kind of added a truck prefix to the name of one of their cars, and you got the Ram Charger and the Trail Duster. Um, so there is your 4x4 
right down on the bottom of the door there. You got a Ram Charger badge here on the fender. Very sharp looking truck, and of course, just like we saw with the Blazers, although a little different, the roof of the cab does come off of the Ram Charger, whereas the Blazer, it is just the rear cap, so you still kind of have a pickup truck style, whereas this is a full-on convertible. Now, I know in the, I wanna say before the 1980s, so 70s, even back to the 60s, the Blazers and Broncos also had a convertible top like this. And I believe the later model Ram Chargers, you actually could not remove the rear cap. I think, I think that's true. I could be wrong though. Uh, nice big four x four logo on the tailgate there. Looks really cool. Yeah, I absolutely love this color. Bright lime green with white accents, white wheels. It's very sharp and our little white roof. Come on, on you go, there you go. Yeah, really, really sweet looking truck. I love it a lot. I love these as much as I love Blazers, as much as I love, well, I don't really love Broncos, but you know. <laughs> I, uh, I came very close to buying a Ram Charger uh, a few years ago, but it needed a lot of, I mean, the guy only wanted like 4,000 bucks for it and it ran and drove, but it, it needed a lot of work. So I was just kind of, yeah. But I think back to it sometimes. I wonder, like, well, you know, what I, what I, that would have been pretty cool to have a, uh, I think it, the one I was looking at was like an 84 or an 85 or something like that. But even still, would have been really cool to have even something called a Ram Charger. Just sounds like a badass truck. <laughs> uh, so very, very cool. Very exciting addition to the collection. And a great way to top off the, uh, the Charger video. So we've got our card here. This is part of the All Terrain Series number 10 from Greenlight. Take a look at the back. We've got a 71 Jeep Jeepster Commando. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, the 77 Ram Charger, 78 F-250, 84 GMC Jimmy Sierra Classic. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for that one. I, uh, I love GMC Jimmys as much as I love Blazers. We've got a 92 Ford Bronco, that sounds pretty cool. And a 2020 Silverado High Country. Not that I don't love Chevys, it's just their new trucks are just, eh, I see them on the road too much to, uh, you know, eh. So we'll get that card tucked away and we will get our Ram Charger into the parking garage and we're running out of room in here actually so we'll get you paused so first up we've got our 69 dodge charger general lee clone thing uh the 71 dodge charger super b 28 dodge charger srt hellcat and the i guess what we agreed this was a 1971 dodge charger funny car and now we will come back down the row with our 77 Dodge Ram Charger, our 2018 SRT Hellcat Challenger that we started the video off with, and his white and red friends for our 4th of July theme, red, white, and blue. Looks very cool. Now, if you remember, I did say we only covered eight cars so far, and I did promise you upwards of 10, so there is some stuff that I would like to show you real quick. So these two cars down here are from the Dukes of Hazard. This was part of a three car set that I got when I was a kid. So you've got Boss Hogg's Cadillac there. I know it's not a Mopar, but eh. uh, I think this was Daisy Dukes, either uh, Duster or a Satellite or something. I'm not really sure. It's kind of custom looking and it just looks like a typical early 70s Mopar. And the third vehicle in that pack was this guy so I do have a General Lee in my collection now I like I said I stopped by my parents house and uh, just went digging through some of the boxes in my old bedroom and found some really cool stuff in there so I have all three of the cars from that little three pack as well as a uh, these are all from Ertl including the pickup truck so this is a 98 Ram 2500 pickup truck with a gooseneck trailer, also from Ertl. 
Um, now granted, these are not gonna be going in the case. They're not exactly up to um, what I'd like to see as far as my level of detail goes. But sheerly for the fact that they are all three very valuable vehicles. Um, it's a very rare kit. And you don't see these anymore because it's got that big bad Confederate flag on the roof that everybody hates so much. So you're never really gonna see any General Lee models anymore, especially now with Warner Brothers. They pulled the licensing for the General Lee. So no more model General Lees. These guys are gonna be worth some money. So I just wanted to show that to you guys real quick. It's a cool little find that I grabbed from my parents' house. And uh, we are getting up there on the time, so I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, and make sure you hit that subscribe button too, and I will see you in the next video.